And I'm just gonna go ahead and say that working sucks. The reason why most people actually work is for the result and the freedom that follows after actually working, allowing us to buy nice things, to travel, and have an overall better quality of life. Now, the retirement age keeps creeping up, which is a very bad outlook. It looks like we'll have to work even longer, and an increasing part of our lives will actually be spent working. And most people at work are trading their time for money. You exchange your time in order to fulfill a certain job or jobs in exchange, you get money. So the moment that you no longer want to trade your time or even worse, you have no more time to trade, the money flow stops. So you're kind of stuck in this hamster wheel where you have to keep exchanging your time for money and you have to keep running some at a faster pace than others in order to keep the money coming in. Luckily, there is a way to escape this hamster wheel. And the goal of this video is to give you back your freedom because anyone can become wealthy and anyone can become financially independent. And the secrets that I'm about to share are packed into a storyline. It is absolutely important that you stick with me to the end in order to fully grasp and fully utilize what I'm about to share. Everything starts with investing. Pay yourself first. Now, I don't mean investing solely in the traditional sense of the word where you have to invest a certain portion of your income every month. I also mean investing in a much broader sense of the word, investing in new experience, investing in learning a new skill, investing in yourself. Now, one of the most important things that I want you to know during this video is look at your own personal situation. When it comes to investing, especially never blindly follow advice. What is your situation like? How much money do you have to spare for investing? How risk tolerant are you? How long is your financial horizon? When are you going to need the money that you want to invest? What are your financial goals? Investing is something very personal. And I want you to look at your own personal situation before before you take any steps to invest your money. For example, if you're only 20 years old, you can take on a lot more risk compared to somebody that's, for example, 45 years old and has two children and a mortgage to pay off. So look at your own financial situation. Look at your own personal situation before you start investing. Now, there are two extremely valuable lessons that I want you to keep in mind. One is the compounding effect. The more you have, the more you invest, the more you save, the bigger the snowball gets, the faster it rolls. The sooner you start investing, the more you invest, the quicker you're gonna compound on investment and the quicker you're gonna be financially independent. The difference between investing for 30 years compared to 40 years for only $10 every day and 10% compounding interest is 1.3 million. Those 10 years that you don't wanna invest even for $10 a day will in the end cost you $1.3 million. And the second very important lesson that I want to share is working smarter beats working harder every single time. Great example of this I find is all these people wanting to start a side hustle. They want to start a side hustle to earn extra money on this side. And it might not even be a lot. They just want $100 or $200 extra per month, which is great. You should know that that extra $100 or $200 every month can be accomplished by just negotiating a better wage or changing jobs and negotiating a better paycheck, which requires no extra stress, no extra work hours, no upfront investment, just a great negotiation, which you can learn entirely online to negotiate a better wage. And that's just one amongst many examples of working smarter versus working harder. So before you do all these crazy gymnastics to earn a little bit more money or a lot more money, look at the environment that you already built for yourself. Do you have existing skills that you can leverage? Do you have a wage that you can negotiate? Do you have an opportunity that will actually pay you more? Do you have a spare room that you can rent out and actually make you money? Now let's get to the title of this video. Why is working hard actually making you poor? It's because because trading your time for money will never make you rich, never make you financially independent. Working really hard for a boss is putting your eggs all in one basket. It's like putting your money on red or black at the casino. Things can go really well, but things can take a dramatic turn at the split second. And I want you to really understand this. Every single day that you show up to work, it can all end. It can all be taken away. All the hours that you invested, all these sacrifices that you made, all the birthdays that you skipped out on in order to get your job done can be taken away in a split second if they no longer need you. Also, the harder that you worked for your regular job, for your regular boss, the less time that you have left to actually build something that could be more lucrative than your regular job. The advice that is often given to entrepreneurial employees is to look for a job that pays the most with the 
least amount of responsibilities so that there is a lot of time and a lot of money to invest and put to work to build something more lucrative and the point where you don't have to exchange your time for money anymore. Now, what's the solution? Of course, our entire lives do not revolve around money. Happiness, fulfillment, and purpose are equally, if not even more important than money, as is health, family, and friends. What's the value of having a lot of money when you're terribly ill? What's the value of having a lot of money with nobody to share it with? What's the point of having a lot of money and being stuck in jail? But with that being said, here's what it comes down to. Don't work hard if you're exchanging your time for money. The way I see it, there are two options. One, you keep exchanging your time for money and you work really hard to increase the value of your time. That you can get more money. Knowing full and well that at a certain point in your career, in your life, you will stop exchanging your time for money. What you have to do is actually put that money to work. Invest it in stocks, ETFs, real estate, it doesn't matter. But at a certain point, it will have to fulfill your needs, your life, to a point where you don't have to exchange your time for money anymore. Replace the time that you have to exchange with money that you will invest. And the second option is don't work hard by exchanging your time for money. Find a job with the least amount of responsibilities and the highest paycheck and keep your hard work for yourself. Build something that has the potential to be more lucrative than your main gig. Whether that be a side hustle, an agency, a product, it doesn't matter, but it has to be scalable. If you build an agency, you can eventually hire people to do the work for you. If you build a product, you can sell it and scale it through e-commerce. So those are the two options. And in any case, whichever you pick, I wish you all the best and I'll see you in the next video.